everyone welcome to my channel so forget the pal one if you're new welcome please like comment down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads check out my other readings if they resonate with you as well already right, stage so the cards are shuffled over the decks. we're gonna hop right into it if you're new thank you so much for joining if you're a return subscriber thank you so much for commenting liking i read all your comments so continue commenting down below and yeah we're gonna get into it so um, if you're also interested in personal readers or my Patreon membership for exclusive bonus readers or, or in a death reading, everything is listed down below in the description box. So we're going to get into it, babies. How many love suitors do you have? Who are these love suitors? Well, these are ones that have made it known that they're interested. Well, these are people that made it known. Who's are interested in you? How many love suitors do you have? Who are they? We're going to, you know open up and see what that's about Um, uh, for some of y'all there's people from the past specifically that's um y'all love suitors i'm not saying that y'all have new ones which i definitely have people from the past because the four pentacles came out in reverse when i was pre-shuffling the cards and that's usually people that y'all let go people places or things people that y'all know in old places or old cities neighborhoods stuff like that so we're gonna get into this energy though um so we're gonna ask how many love suitors does my pile one have how many love suitors does my pile one have fuck okay we got Oh, y'all, y'all got up to nine suitors. So you may think you don't, but some of y'all that may not may not have that many. I'm reading for a lot of people, but y'all have nine suitors. There could be people that have not shown y'all that y'all didn't like y'all. Now, if you you think you ain't likable like that, then that's on you. But hey, okay. So we're gonna get into it. Okay, so some of y'all we're gonna get into this energy of who these suitors are. We're gonna start off with the first suitor because we got nine. Clearly, we're gonna start with the first suitor. We're gonna go with that. Um, if some of y'all, y'all may know who this person is. This may give y'all some type of description. If you don't know who this person is at all and it resonates, then this may not be you. That may not be your suitor. You may have less than nine, but we got nine here, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, this is somebody from the this is somebody from the past. For some of y'all, this could be a Sagittarius. It does not have to be, or you could be a Sagittarius. The reason why this is somebody from the past is because this is somebody where they were refusing to compromise. This is somebody where they're refusing to compromise. They're refusing to work on work work on things. Somebody's refusing to meet you halfway. Maybe that's showing you emotion, showing you passion. Uh, somebody being stubborn my way or the highway so this is somebody from the past that's interested in you this is somebody where they were refusing to compromise they were refusing to make things work this person made things harder than what it had to be it can even talk about two it takes two to tangle where maybe one person was doing the work and one person was not compromising not going with the flow um you know almost like you trying to build and this person's trying to take down the blocks you're building this is who this love suitor is this is somebody that is still interested in you i'm going to get another card to see what you know what this is about um, okay, yeah, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. They can even be somebody who is very emotionally manipulative, somebody that really could even thought about themselves. Um, it could even be the energy where you could have been putting more. Maybe you you could have felt like you gained more than what you you lost more. Um, you lost more than what you gained from the situation for some of y'all. So this is who this love suitor is. It could even be a Cancer or a Sagittarius for some of y'all. This is who this person is. Um, this is somebody where they're very stubborn. They weren't willing to compromise. And this could be somebody where you felt like you gave more to the situation, or you you lost more than what you gained from it. You know, you would have you would have gained more by not messing with this person. So this is y'all first suitor. So this is who that is. Um, we're gonna go into who the other suitor is. And then we're gonna put y'all some charts at the end. Okay, so we got the Empress in reverse. So this is a suitor. Whoever the second suitor is they're very insecure they're just insecure they they may have like may not feel like they look good enough or may feel like you weren't being tried so it don't even have to be them insecure it can mean yeah we got the ace of cups so this is somebody new the second suit this could be a cancer scorpio pisces this could be a taurus or this could be your sign it's somebody that's new somebody new wants to offer your relationship both the emperors in reverse they may not feel like they look the best they may uh overthink they may say oh i may not be this person type or i may not be this i may not be that blah 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 this y'all second suit whoever this person is they want a new relationship with you. They they clearly have emotions for you, but they're um afraid to express it because they may afraid you don't view them in a way. This could be somebody where they don't have the confidence to say, hey, I want to get to know you, or hey, I have a lot of emotions for you, or hey, I'm interested. Can we take it here or there? So this could be somebody that you're already dealing with, but somebody that's with Ace of Cups is somebody that's new. So this is one that could be new or especially new for some of y'all, and they want more, they want deeper, but they don't know how to express it. They may feel like... You know, you for instance, you know how you get to know somebody or whatever, and you want to, you know, want to deepen things up, but you may not sure if they're on that level with you y'all everything been going so good but you still don't know y'all stand because that has not been talked about so it could be something like that where it's new but you and this person have not really talked about where y'all stand with one another somebody that feels a, have a lot of deep emotions that could even want something more to but they may be 
have lacked the confidence to say it. This could be somebody where they feel like they don't look apart. They don't look the best. They may feel like they're unattractive or, you know, they want something with you, but they're unattractive. So this is what I'm seeing here. This not, you know, for y'all second suitor here. Um, That was pretty strong pretty um so explanatory we're going with our third suitor what's this third suitor because we gotta get some good ones can we get some good ones i mean okay we got the nine of swords so some of y'all this is somebody where they feel like it's a missed opportunity in reverse it's somebody this could be um aquarius it does not have to be you could be aquarius with the um nine of swords in reverse this is somebody where they feel like they miss opportunity they, they could have had an opportunity to talk to you to get your number to communicate with you they feel like it's a missed opportunity so let's see what this is about we got the three of cups. Okay. Um, we got the queen of wands. For some of y'all, there's somebody that put you in a third party situation. This could be somebody that's very promiscuous. Um, even somebody that was a liar or whatever. This could be the kind of person where they would lie and, and tell you what you want to hear to sleep with you for a few of y'all. So some of y'all, you do have history with this person, but there's somebody I'm getting multiple messages. For some of y'all, there's somebody that feel like, uh, they missed out on an opportunity with being with you because they wanted to continue playing the field. Um, they want to, yeah, for some of y'all, somebody wanted to be promiscuous or they wanted to continue playing the field. They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready to be in something committed. So maybe they wanted to continue keeping their options up. Maybe somebody wanted to get to know you and not take you too serious or keep you as arm's length. Um, this is somebody that wants to talk to y'all. Um, this is a, you know, the, the love suitor who's interested in you, this third person. Um, for some of y'all, if that don't resonate, this could be a friend. Um, with the three cups here, this would be a friend that, um, could have, with the queen of wands, this could even have been a friend that was very, uh... Or for some of y'all, this could even be y'all fourth suitor or this could be y'all third suitor. So y'all got to take it resonate how it is. But some of y'all, this is a friend or somebody that came off like they didn't like you, but they liked you. So somebody missed an opportunity with you because they pretended like they didn't like you. It can even pretend like they didn't like you around their friends or people that they know or people bring you up. They, they don't mention anything about you. It's almost like somebody was pretending that they didn't like you or whatever, pretending that they weren't attracted to you and the whole time they were. And it's somebody feel like they missed an opportunity with y'all. Some of y'all can even been a friend that feel like they missed opportunity with you because they never expressed things or whatever the case may be or you knew like for instance maybe you had somebody and y'all was friends but y'all both had a crush on each other both had a friend love and an association but this person never said anything or took it deeper or made it very clear that they were attracted to you. it's something like that y'all but this is why i feel like they missed some type of opportunity this is gonna resonate for y'all differently and this is gonna resonate for y'all because you know you gonna know it's your story so don't fit it if it don't fit okay so this is what I'm getting, y'all. So let's get into this third person. I said that could be the third or fourth because we did give y'all like I did give y'all like two to three scenarios, but this was like some type of friend or something that didn't get off the ground or something like that, or even somebody where y'all was talking and but they wasn't ready to settle down. They was still trying to be out there being a the player, and now they feel they missed opportunity out on a real one. So <laughs> well, I'm not talking like that. Let's get into this fourth energy. Who's this fourth person? <laughs> Okay, we got the moon card. Okay, we got the knight of cups in reverse. We got the ace of cups in reverse. Okay, so this is hidden. So there is somebody from the past. Um, I got four. So this is somebody from the past. This could be a Pisces. Um, it could be a Scorpio or Gemini or Cancer. I said Gemini or Cancer. Sorry, not Gemini. This could be a Pisces, um, Scorpio or Cancer because we got all water signs. Or this could be your sign. Whoever this person is for some this is somebody from the past. Um, but the moon card, this is hidden. Like, you don't know. So there is somebody for the nine of cups to reverse and ace of cups there's somebody where y'all could have had a relationship with um this could be somebody where they told you a lot of lies or this could be somebody where they was telling you what you wanted to hear this could be somebody that was having a lot of illusions um this can even be somebody where they um say for instance people are talking about y'all they may not speak up about it uh, it's almost like this person did not set personal boundaries like this person would have people doing stuff and allowing people to think that it, it's okay to do it because they weren't checking people so it could be somebody like that for some of y'all allowing people to do stuff and not checking them um you can even letting people come in between what y'all got going on and not really putting a foot down not really standing uh, standing on how firm on how they feel or not saying it for a few of y'all this is who this person is um to give you some idea for the rest of y'all whoever this person is this is somebody where it's hidden a relationship the nine of cups that didn't work out because somebody was not being honest or somebody was telling you what they wanted to wanted telling you what you wanted to hear this can even talk about somebody creating a lot of illusions you know um this is somebody where they're very sad over how things because y'all got three cards for this uh, y'all usually pull i pull two cards for all the rest of them this one y'all got three cards for y'all fourth person so this fourth person they're very sad they're in regret um this is somebody where they're very sad they sad that things did not work out they're hurt like when i say hurt it can be somebody that's crying like they hurt they sad that things didn't work out 
Um, this could be somebody where they can even feel like it was unrequited love. Um, for some of y'all, this can even be somebody where they had emotions for you, but they never said anything about it. They never offered the relationship. They never like said they liked you, and they could have somebody could have suppressed their emotions for almost like somebody had emotions for you. They suppressed them. They didn't want to express it, and they're sad. It's almost like somebody sad because they never told you how they felt. Um, so some of y'all, this is somebody that never told you how they felt and they're sad or whatever the case may be because they never expressed this to you and they miss opportunity with you and they're sad over that. Or, you know, or this is somebody that's hidden that's going through some type of silent, hidden heartbreak over you or whatever. So some of y'all, you may not even know that this person is still interested in you. So there's somebody that's interested in you. You may not know that. You may do. Um, this is somebody where they are heartbroken over you they're going through some type of heartbreakness or something like that they could feel like y'all are not meant to be um or they want y'all to be meant to be but y'all not meant to be something like that this is the fourth person um then the other view of y'all this is hidden where this is somebody where they could have caused a lot of lies illusion weren't being honest weren't being true this can be somebody that's playing with you emotionally this can be somebody that you had a crush on or something like that. it's somebody that's playing with you emotionally trying to play with your emotions um you know, could even play emotional games with you. Whoever this person is, they are regretful and they're sad, they're crying, and this is hidden. So you don't know that this person is. This could be somebody that's afraid to let you know they're interested in you, and this is what they could have done. And now they're regretful, they're sad. They're somewhere crying in a motherfucking corner. For some of y'all, this might have never expressed to you that they was interested. And they have emotions for you, and they run deep. And it's almost like having emotions that can't... It's almost like, you know, like that... Like, it's almost like living inside a glass bottle and everybody outside playing. You never get a chance to go out there and play. And you cry and shit. That's what I'm getting. It's like that. So, what's your fifth person, though? What's this fifth person? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. So this could be somebody where they will... Um, whoever this fifth person is, y'all may not even know that they like y'all. This is the kind of person where they could gossip a lot. Um, This could be the kind of person where they're very biased or miserable. Whoever this, this could be somebody where y'all don't even trust. So there is somebody that's interested in you, that's that well, interested in you romantically, that you don't even fucking trust. Like, you don't trust this person, the Queen of Swords. Some of y'all, you could have cut this person off. So there is somebody that y'all cut off or somebody that you do not trust that is what have a romantic interest some of y'all this can be somebody where they come off as being mean or talking shit towards you and you may not know they like you because they talk shit but this is somebody that actually likes you um we're gonna get some more messages though but this is somebody that you could have cut off or somebody that talks a lot of shit and you wouldn't think that they like oh yeah we got the herman card in reverse some of y'all you cut this motherfucker off over this person this could be an aquarius or this could be um a virgo y'all withdraw your energy back from this person y'all cut this person off um this could even be somebody that talks shit about you it's almost like somebody that will withdraw their energy talk shit about you and then leave so some of y'all this is somebody that talks shit about you or whatever or pretend like they don't like you this could be the kind of person that got a crush on you but they'll talk shit about you because they don't want everybody else to know that they like you um this can even be somebody where each time you come around they remove themselves from around you um or certain stuff like that um whoever this person is they can have a crush on you but they're fearful um y'all get some messages some of y'all you know what's funny this person low key could have talked shit about y'all whoever is whoever interested in you romantically could have talked shit about y'all and they're afraid that if it came back to you you will withdraw yourself you won't fuck with them or you you will withdraw yourself you wouldn't even look at them the same so this is y'all fifth person we're gonna move on but child okay so we got the two of pentacles in the upright i see who this person is it's gonna back to be a capricorn it does not have to be it could be your sign this one got three cards too um for y'all sixth person y'all got three cards hold on y'all because i dropped the card on the ground okay so we got the two of pentacles oh we got the seven of cups i mean seven of pentacles in the upright we got the two of wands um in reverse Okay, so some of y'all, whoever this other person is, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries. Um, or this could be y'all signs. Whoever this other suitor is, the sixth suitor. Um, this is somebody where they're very balanced. This could be somebody where they save money or whatever. They invest money, they save money, they balance, um, they they fight they got their finance together. There's somebody where they make good uh decisions on where they invest their money in. Um, this could be somebody, um, Okay, I'm getting multiple messages. For some of y'all, this can let me see what's on the bottom of the day before I speak to okay, four cups in reverse. Okay okay so some of y'all get multiple messages again two specific messages take resonate for some of y'all there's somebody where they save good they got a good hit on their shoulder they make they're very humble they make good decisions but the two of wands in reverse there is something that's this person's fearing some type of change um some of y'all this could be somebody where they're focusing on work that they may uh with the for a cup this is somebody that regret this is somebody that, that um feels like you're going to reject them um, for some of y'all, this could even be somebody that rejected y'all. 
um for somebody that can be somebody where they feel like they miss opportunity with this four of cups so that can mean a lot of things somebody missed opportunity somebody rejected you or rejected them or somebody's afraid of being rejected but what i'm seeing here is there's somebody that's working on getting their finances together getting their money together and there's somebody that's afraid of talking to you because they feel like if they talk to you it may cause them not to focus on their money so this was what comes on your six tutor your six tutor is like a money oriented person they really about their money they about their business this is the kind of person where they, they like to have a safety net they like to make sure they financially stay with they good this is the but they don't play about their finances and this is why they could be going after their goals their dreams and they may be afraid to talk to you because they may fear that they they may they feel like they start talking to you that they may start rejecting their work almost like calling off a of work um you know being with you and you taking out their time where they can't get stuff done so there is somebody that will be interested in you but they're afraid of giving up they're afraid of their work life not they're afraid of not being as ambitious if they are talking to you so so it did that happen sometimes people they be working and focusing on their goal if they start dating or talking to people that can you know make them not focus on what they're trying to do and this is somebody that's really focused on what they're trying to do so this so this somebody who this person is, they feel like they missed an opportunity with you, or they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity with you. This is somebody where they're this somebody where they're there. This person fears of talking to you. Okay, let me break it down like this because I know it's all over the place. This sixth option. This is somebody that fears missing opportunity with you. They fear missing opportunity with you, but they also fear um missing opportunity out on going after their finances it's almost like this person feel like if they continue working on their finances they feel like they're going to regret not talking to you but they also feel like but they're also afraid of leaving their finances to come towards you it's like okay it's like i don't want to re it's like damn if i do them i don't i don't want to leave my finances or whatever it's oh, y'all it's this shit is irritated this message right here is irritating okay um it can be this energy where this person is irritated because i'm getting irritated so it's like this person could be irritated over the situation this person could be irritated at the fact that they want to go after their goals but they want to talk to you but they feel like they can't talk to you because they feel like you would take them off of their goals um so this is who this person is um if y'all want more in-depth readings and stuff like this y'all can always book a personal but this is what i'm, I'm gonna leave it here with the sixth person because they irritated and they got me irritated so this is what it is for that let's see what y'all seven person is okay we got the three of wands in reverse we got the seven of wands in the upright okay with the three of wands in reverse that could talk about an unrealistic plan you know you can talk about not sure how so some of you are you are standing up or standing your ground you are setting boundaries when it comes to somebody they don't know how to get to you so somehow you could have blocked somebody y'all set some type of boundary up with whoever this love suitor is this could be aries a leo uh, or leo um or you could be heirs or leo there is somebody that set some type of boundary up which is i feel like is y'all some of y'all set some type of boundary up or y'all could even raise your standards with the seven of wands y'all could have raised your standards for some of y'all you couldn't even, even um just be setting boundaries not letting certain shit slide and this is somebody where they want to come in and want to talk to you but they don't have a plan they they it's necessarily like this person maybe it's, maybe the person feel like they can't just come right in and say something to you. it's almost like this person feel like they have to make a plan that's realistic that's going to work that's going to that's going to work this is somebody that you could have cut off for some of this somebody where you put boundaries up and they blocked or whatever or you got firm boundaries or yo or your standards are higher now it's somebody where they feel like it's unrealistic like basically like they can't come through this is somebody where they're trying to get to you or they're trying to look toward they they see you in this is somebody that sees you in their future but they don't know how to implicate you in their future um with the seven of wands here this could be somebody where they want you in their life and you're you got so many boundaries some of y'all there is somebody that feel like you got your guard up so take the message however it resonates for y'all because it's gonna resonate differently for all y'all some of y'all you got your guard up and this is somebody that want to talk to you but they may feel like it's unrealistic they feel like they can't talk to you because you got your guard up they can tell that you got some type of invisible wall up or some guard up where they can't talk to you for a few of y'all you could have cut somebody off or you standing on some type of boundaries or your or somebody feel like your somebody feel like your worth is somebody that feel, somebody feel like whatever you was worth back then you're worth much more and it's almost like this person can't just come back in like they used to because your worth went up be at the eight of pentacles being here yeah some of y'all y'all worth went up it's something about your worth going up and somebody can't come back and talk to you it's almost like unrealistic it's almost like you're not on somebody's level anymore so they're trying to come back in it's uh, kind of unrealistic to think it's going to work out so somebody knows that they was to come back in it won't work out because you have boundaries set for some of y'all can even be this energy where your worth went up or something like that 
um with the eight of pentacles here for some of y'all there could be somebody that wants to um want to work on things or work on some type of situation or you know build on something but you have some type of, so there's somebody i want to get to know you you know build on things getting to know you seeing who you are getting to know you deeper but they feel like you got some type of invisible guard where they can't get through so this is y'all seventh person we're going to move on to y'all eighth person so we're going to leave it at that so what is going on with this eighth person who's this eighth person Okay, we got the hangman. Okay, we got the ten of wands here. Y'all got a lot of cards. Um, we got the emperor card in reverse. Um, we got the ten of wands. We got the hangman. So some of y'all, whoever this love suitor is, this eighth love suitor, this is somebody that have had. This is somebody that wants to have control over you. This is somebody that wants to control you in some type of way. And this is somebody that feel like they're gonna be unsuccessful. This is somebody that's giving up with the hangman in reverse. This is somebody with the ten of wands. Somebody's giving up. Somebody could be trying to have control over you or trying to control you. Sorry, y'all. There could be somebody that's giving up on you. So maybe somebody's interested in you. They like you, but they're giving up because they feel like you're not easy to control. This is somebody that likes to manipulate people that they feel like they're able to. This part, whoever this A suitor is, and this is lucky that this is not working out for them because I'm glad whoever this A suitor is not working out with y'all because whoever this is, uh-uh. I don't even approve of them power two, power one. I almost said power two, but I don't even approve, approve of them power one. Whoever this ace suitor is, this is somebody where they want to let go of the situation because they feel like it's too hard. They feel like you are. They feel like um you. Oh, I'm getting so many messages. Uh, I hate people like this. Who is this? Okay, this ace suitor power one is the kind of person where they. Well, they will, this is the kind of person where they may feel like you are too high level or too high maintenance that they don't want to fuck with you. So somebody feels like they don't want to fuck with you because you're too much to deal with, too much to handle. This can be whoever this person is. They like to they like having power over people. They like manipulating people. They like people listening to them. They like people being their puppet. Whoever this is, they could be a narcissist. They don't have to be, but they could be a narcissist or they have narcissistic tendencies. Um, whoever this individual is or this person, this is the kind of person where they like fucking with people that are mentally immature they don't have the type of nice naive and gullible they like that and they feel like it's too hard to control you or it would be too hard to con to control you and this is why this person's not coming towards you somebody's giving so whoever this love suitor is this eighth when they giving up they no longer really a suitor because they feel like it's, it would be too hard to control you or manipulate you and this is what they're looking for they're looking for like somebody easy that that would do what they say when they say it jump and leave or let them do whatever the fuck they want to do to that person so this is what i'm seeing here we're gonna go to our nice suitors. Hopefully, this we, we know the saying is best for last. So, I hope it's best. Okay, we got the devil in reverse. So, this last suitor, this could be somebody that could have had some type of addictions, or they could have been tied to a marriage, or had some type of addictions, or anything, and they're letting go. So, do whoever this third, this nice suitor is, they're letting go of anything that they've been through, any type of things that's been a bondage, them being um anything that had a hold on this person, they're releasing. So, this person is going through some type of good change. We got an ace of cups in reverse. So some of y'all, this person is releasing. Um, um, a relationship or they released the relationship that they could have been going back to on and off again for some of you this person could even let go of somebody or somebody that they was really on um, they had a lot of feelings for so some of you this person could have um we got the moon card being here you got the nine of swords okay so some of you whoever this nine suitor is this is somebody where they had a lot of addictions they could have been going on and off with somebody and they could have um they could this is unexpected whoever this person is with the um nine of swords this is somebody where um i'm getting two messages i'm getting two different messages so take a risk and leave what does it y'all okay first message with this ninth person somebody that has some type of addictions um they could even could have possibly left some type of relationship or whatever the case may be um it could have been a lot of things that was hidden in whatever that relationship was like this person could have been tied to this person could have been tied to somebody where they was constantly on and off or constantly staying with this person for a long period of time. Um, and they could have almost felt like they was bonded, tied to this person type of way. Um, this person could have found out some type of hidden information about it. They could have found out some type of communication about stuff that was hidden. So this somebody that's no, this somebody that's clear out of negative, somebody clear negative, a negative relationship out of their life that was keeping them whole, holding them back for what they truly can have. Um, for some of y'all, this is somebody that's in re that was in a relationship. They could have been tied to somebody. Somebody was in a relationship with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody was in a relationship that they weren't happy in with the Moon card. Is this is somebody? Some of y'all, there could be somebody that's getting out of a relationship that they've been tied to or stuck in. And with the Moon card here, what's hidden 
is they're going to come in and communicate y'all community so somebody could be re- letting go of a relationship that they're very unhappy and coming right towards you to talk to talk to you to date you there can be somebody where they could have been um t- they could have been tied to somebody for a long time but it's financial some of y'all could be in marriage it could even be on the off with somebody somebody found look, seeing you and they really want to talk to you they really want to take you serious so this night person whoever it is they went through some shit but they looking for something serious so we can at least say that but for some of y'all this person could be cutting off or letting go of somebody that could have made them feel bonded bonded to them and they're coming literally right towards you like literally right towards you but this is what i'm getting peace love and light if you had to resonate with you or you want a more deeper message or anything like that check out my personal readers down below in the description box as well as my patreon and hey, welcome to my channel so if you get the power to be fine this reading resonate with you please hit the like button please comment down below please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads if you are new welcome baby check out my other readings if this one resonate with you also don't forget to join babes i hope that you stay if you return to subscribe again gang, gang, welcome back babies thank you so much for showing me your love and support continue commenting because i see it down below in the description box a further ado or further we're going to hop right into it already say the cards and shuffled over the decks if you want to inquire about personal readings or for an in-depth reading or you're included, included in my um you want to be included in my patreon membership which is down below for exclusive bonus readings that's going to be in the description box as well y'all my motherfucking neighbors is oh this na- it's this one neighbor this is this one neighbor she her fixes she she fake fixing the blinds those damn blinds ain't messed up she just want to see what's going on with this terry that's all that is that is so funny y'all it's like i never somebody so desperate to try to see something like almost like you're doing everything to not mind your business you really good at that that's one thing she good at tell you that much okay we're gonna get to the training y'all okay so how many love suitors do y'all got power one was juicy okay you want to see how many love suitors you got we got to get some characteristics or who these people are give you some idea who these people is these could be people from the past or it could be people from new people we're gonna sit figure out who these are who they are okay so let's get into it pile two how many suitors do we have so let's see how many suitors do you have how many suitors do my pile two have Okay, we got the four of wands. So some of y'all, you have um four suitors. Y'all have four suitors piled too. So let's get into this energy, um, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna get into the first suitor. So we're gonna get into, so I got four suitors. So we're gonna get into the first suitor. So we got the four of wands in reverse. We got the temperance card in reverse. We got the emperor card in reverse. We also, I mean, the emperor in the upright. We got the death card in the upright. So for some of y'all, there it was a relationship. Whoever this suitor is, this is somebody that y'all used to date before that y'all used to be in a relationship with. With the temperance card, you and this person could have been very imbalanced. You could have felt, you could even felt like you and this person weren't compatible. Almost where you could have been dating somebody and it was very toxic. With the temperance card in reverse, it was very toxic. Some of y'all, you had you already knew that the relationship wasn't you you it's almost like you didn't even have faith in it you knew that y'all were ending you knew y'all weren't going to make it it's almost something like that with the tempers in reverse where it's almost like y'all was losing faith almost like if you was dating somebody that's in a relationship you was losing faith that y'all would stay together forever all the memories that you had that y'all was going to do together it's almost like he was losing sight of that faith for that um with the emperor card this could be y'all signs of this person this could be aries a sagittarius or uh, aries and we also got um scorpio so this could be your signs or this person's sign um whatever it is was the relationship that you're in it was very toxic you weren't happy um and some of y'all can have kids by this person i can't even relate with this person for some of y'all this is somebody where they the relationship was very toxic um with the emperor card being here there's somebody that could have been very controlling this could be somebody that wanted to be head in charge or head honcho you know it could be somebody um that wanted to uh some of y'all, this person put y'all through a lot with the death card. Some of y'all, you are no longer with this person. Y'all could have ended this relationship with this person. But this is somebody that y'all was in a relationship with. It was very toxic. Y'all could have lived with this person. Some of y'all have kids by this person. Um, You and the person was almost like y'all was never on the same page. Y'all was always arguing. Y'all was never able to see eye to eye. This would be somebody where they're very controlling, always in their ego. Don't want to say no. Don't want to apologize. Don't want to take accountability. They fix, they break shit and want you to fix it first. That's what I'm getting. With the death card here, y'all ended this. With the death card, when you go through a death when the death card come out that usually talks about going through something dark or coming out of it blooming a transformation so some of y'all you have glowed up so there is somebody from the past they feel like you have glowed up you look good you smell good you look attractive it's money that you've been into been in a relationship with some of y'all could be somebody that y'all stayed with lived with before have kids by for others, this one that you was in a relationship with. Y'all no longer together. You let their ass go because that was very controlling, toxic. Somebody that was um, emotionally immature, mentally immature, not being able to take accountability, my way or the highway, you know. Um, this could even be somebody that, um, this could even be somebody that, that um, didn't know how to 
communicate. This could be the kind of person where they don't have, they would yell or not self-aware. This person will be not self-aware, not thinking before they speak, not thinking about their actions. It can be somebody that wasn't thinking about how they affect you when they do certain stuff. You had a glow up ever since you broke out with this person. This is one of your love suits. This is an ex. So this is who this is who this person is. This is gonna give you a little insight of who this person is. They're interested in you. They want to talk to you. They want to uh, mend things. Some of y'all with this death card here, y'all y'all had a glow up because the death card is like this it's skull. It's like this beautiful woman that got her hands on the sheet and arm gold and that gold is like a sun right behind her that light shining um i'm going to see what's on the bottom of the deck in a minute to end off this person but what i can say is y'all are very attractive y'all have some type of glow up this person has noticed that y'all got new shit in your life if you're masculine you upgrade you got finance you got new shit going on in your life you got new stuff all of that and the above and things are going good for you so yeah, this is what I'm seeing here. We have we got the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person wants to talk to you. So this is a person that you dated. Um, they want to talk to you. They want to holler at you. Um, y'all looking good. Y'all looking fine. They want to sign your DMs. They want to call you. They want to text you. They want to hit you up with the eight of wands. They want to communicate. Um, you look good. You know, probably when you doing that shit. Oh, we have the sun card in reverse. Like I said, this is somebody that had a lot of ego. Um, just give me somebody that had a big, you know what? Because anytime I get big ego, I think of somebody that got a big because of Beyonce. She said never did that. <laughs> she said she doesn't the word. Oh my god. But yeah, y'all, we got the sun card in reverse. Um, this can even be somebody where they feel like some of y'all. This much somebody that had an ego in the past, and they feel like if they was to hit you up, you would be conceited. Almost like you would. This person could want to hit you up, but they almost kind of don't want to stroke your ego. Especially knowing that this person did you dirty, they feel like they was to hit you up. That's damn near stroking your ego. Almost like with the sun card in reverse, you could even talk about being conceited. This person can feel like you're gonna be conceited or whatever the case may be. Almost like conceited. Um. Um, this is not going to everybody, but for a few of you, for my ladies or man, masculine or whatever, this could be somebody that y'all could have dated before and y'all could have had a mis, you could have had a miscarriage, or this person could have miscarried when you were dating them. So this is gonna be for a few of y'all on who you gonna know who this person is. Um, but for some of y'all, that's not even the case. For some of y'all, as a general, as a whole, this person wants to communicate with y'all, but they low key feel like you would have a big ego, almost like it would be stroking your ego if they was to hit y'all up, if they was to talk to y'all. This is funny. <laughs> Power one, this is so funny because y'all must be doing a big. I won't say power one, power two. Everybody needs to watch power one, but power two, y'all doing a big up in this motherfucker. And this is why this person feel like this. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna get some more messages. Let's see. Let's see who the second suitor is. So this is y'all first suitor. Let's see, my y'all, my motherfucking never still looking in this window. This is so funny. Like girl, she over here playing in the window like a fucking cat. <laughs> you know how cats be playing with the blinds and shit that's what it's giving okay we got the empress oh okay so, so whoever the second suitor is they are fine the second suitor they are fine okay fine like why make you want to be mine okay they are fine whoever the second suitor is they're fine this second suitor can feel like you're so attractive this could be somebody that's very if this is a man or woman they're very caring attractive they consider it they think about you everything with your ex is not okay everything power one wasn't is what power two is giving i don't want to speak too soon because we got the empress card here but this is looking good oh we got the death card in reverse okay so some of y'all this is somebody where they see you and they had not been able to move on from you like this could be somebody that had a crush on you and they just can't help but have a crush on you they can even like man i ain't gonna crush on pile too and they still crushing it could be somebody where it's almost like somebody saw you and they could not help they could not have they could not they couldn't help themselves but to ask you out or they can't help themselves but to ask you out. so there could be somebody where ever since they saw you or met you they have not been able to find somebody that tops you maybe this will be somebody that have a crush on you but they not really you know almost like okay you cute you know you see somebody attractive but you know you don't really you it's almost like okay i'm attracted you're attractive but i'm not invested in it you know like that it's almost like like you're attractive but i'm not investing in it that's what i see here it can be this energy where like you're attractive um and this person see you and they could have just been going on but they had not been able to move forward almost like somebody taking a double look at you so whoever the second suitor is they double looked at you almost like somebody saw you or came across you and they weren't able to like let it go it's almost like damn wait who i'm gonna see him you know how you glare at something then you turn back around and you glare at it again it's almost like this person can't necessarily not look at you or necessarily not talk to you they can't 
or whatever the case may be this might never feel like you're so attractive this person gonna feel like you low-key have everything you're looking for in a partner with this empress card here and it's almost like look i cannot let this go by i cannot let this go past this might not feel like they can't give up whatever you're doing they can't give it up so my neighbor can't even hear the fuck i'm saying she's just standing in the blinds looking at me talk so you go look at me talk you gotta look at me talking, not even here. She can at least subscribe to the channel. You see what I'm saying? Oh, we got the sun card. This is good, Pato. This is motherfucking good. Who is this? Okay, let me give you the sign. This could be your sign as person. We got Leo. We got um Taurus. We got Scorpio. This could be your signs or this person's sign. Well, whoever this person is, they make money. Um, they also come off as a little mysterious. This could be somebody that get a lot of attention as well. This is somebody that's attracted, they get a lot of attention. They could be somebody where they're an introvert, they're a popular loner, they stay to themselves, but they get a lot of attention. They stay in their bag though. So this what I like. we got the sun card oh yes we got the sun card oh yes okay let's start part two but this is somebody where they're attracted to you okay five two y'all hit the mark of pile two yo pile two yo pile number two suitor they hitting the mark they everything that pile one i'm gonna say pile one everything you're at your first su suitor wasn't okay um whoever this person is they are very happy this could be somebody that's happy in their life right now a lot of good things are going they're looking at better days are coming for this person they this person is very happy this could be like a person this person has a big personality a lot of people could like this person they get a lot of attention they can have a lot of people that want them um this is somebody where they so this is somebody where a lot of people want this person but they noticed you and ever since they noticed you they have not been able to low-key take their eyes off you they had not been able to move on from you it's almost like having somebody that you like and you don't really want nobody else this is the kind of person where they could be talking to other people and they'll cut you cut them off because they like you so bad much this is the kind of person that will cut you people off in the talking stage so this is your second person but we, this is too good too fucking good <laughs> Like y'all understand, I'm so, so happy because part one, they would get good suits with a little bit of salt and pepper in it. Okay, we got we got we got a suitor, somebody that's actually good. So let's get into this energy. Let's see who this third suitor is. Let's see who this third suitor is. Who's this third suitor from our pile two? Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So whoever the third suitor is, suitor is they're going to ask y'all on a date. They could even want to get y'all something. Or this could be somebody that want to buy you something to impress you with the Ace of Pentacles. This could even be somebody that could help put you on in some type of way. So whoever this third suitor is, they could put y'all on in some type of way. They may have money or finances. They may want to try to buy y'all attention. You know, I ain't going to cap here. This is somebody that got some type of finances, though. Or they're able to... Oh, we got the King of... The Queen of Pentacles. God damn, it's getting good. Damn, pal. Damn, pal, too. Damn it okay so whoever this person is they um we got the queen of pentacles so this is somebody um that has a lot to offer you this could even be somebody um, that can offer you money ask you on the day this is somebody that wants something long term so you got power too you got another good suitor this is somebody that's this is somebody that can put you on, whether it's a man or a woman. They got some type of resource where they can put you on. They can help your life be easier. This could be somebody that want to offer you or buy you something to impress you. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be somebody where they're very abundant. They got their money together. Their finances together. Uh, oh, oh. I'm reading my one of my subscribers comments y'all i love reading your comments but this is somebody where they got their money y'all she is literally standing in the motherfucking i have to flash the camera at her i'm gonna show y'all at her ass one day for real i'm gonna show her ass to y'all i'm gonna turn the camera right on her ass you want to stand in the window i got some for your ass because this is so funny like she can't even hear what i'm saying she's just looking at me but we ain't gonna pay attention to that we go finish doing this reading or whatever but this is somebody, this is another good suitor, your pile two, your suitor number three. This is somebody that has money, they're, they have finance, they have things going for themselves. This could even be somebody um that can offer you something or put you on in some type of way. This is somebody with a very stable, somebody and this person could be a mom or a father. They may already have children. Um, This could even be somebody where... um. This could be somebody where people could want to talk to this person as well. The person can also have kids by somebody or whatever. They already may have kids from another previous relationship. But this is somebody where they take care of their home. They take care of their family. This is somebody that takes care of themselves. Uh, this is somebody that looks like money. So when you see this person, they look nice. This person has nice things, accessories. They have nice products. This could even be somebody that can offer you nice stuff, like buy you nice stuff. So y'all may have somebody... Um. So some of y'all, not for everybody, but some of y'all, this is somebody that want to be serious with y'all. And some of y'all, this is like a sugar mom or a sugar daddy. Somebody that has resources that can put you on or that can give to you because they're very stable. This could be somebody that's very nurturing and very abundant. Um, But this also could be somebody that's not looking for something serious. They could want to like, you know, invest in you and stuff like that for, for your time and all of that. But this may be somebody that's not 
looking for something serious for a few of y'all. Some of y'all just is somebody that's looking for something serious. They do want something long term. I'm gonna get one more card to clarify though, but before we speak too soon. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, we got the six of cups here in reverse. We got the ace of wands here in reverse. Okay, so this is somebody where they can even feel this is somebody from the um this is somebody that's letting go of their past, they focusing on your future. Okay, so whoever this third suitor is, they could could have been sleeping with somebody or whatever, and they stopped sleeping. So this third suitor they cut whoever this third suitor was sleeping with somebody. They was talking to somebody, being intimate, they cut that person off, they let that person go. It's, so this is why this is a suitor that could have already been in a relationship could have been in a they, this person can be, can be coming from like a committed relationship somebody that they were sleeping with that they could have been living with or staying with somebody that they could share kids with for some of y'all they're moving on or letting that completely go they're focusing on the future they had their eyes on you some of y'all this person want to take you out on a date or and they want something long term and they want to offer you some type of resources or finance or even put you on or take you on their wink or something like that actually you know want something long term and stable for some of y'all this could be somebody where they could have got out of a long term situation and then want to invest in you but they could just be looking to have fun you know what i'm saying and one investing they could just be looking to have fun here um so this is what i'm seeing for y'all third so that could be some of y'all could be different so some of y'all somebody that's want to be serious with y'all long term they got it like that and then for some of y'all it could be somebody that got it like that but they could be coming out of something where they just want to play around um you got the justice card in reverse so that can even talk about unfair or things not going in fairness or things unequal so that usually means you know things not being equal but at the end of everything so that's the end of about that third suitor. Um, we got a heavy Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn energy in that. We're going to get into this fourth suitor. Who does this fourth suitor? Who is this fourth suitor? Okay, so we got the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody that um you some of y'all this is somebody where you may not be sure if they like you or not this may be somebody where you may like but you're not sure if they like you this could be somebody that may be sure if you don't like them or not maybe this is somebody where they're not sure if you've liked them or you may not be sure if they like you back um we got the eight of wands so this is somebody where they're not talking so this first suitor is somebody that's not talking to you because they're not sure if you like them or not so some of y'all if there's something that's taking place that y'all know that there is somebody that may be interested in you they may feel like they're gonna miss signals they may not be sure if you're interested in them fully or not so this person might is refusing to speak to you until they have a clear or until they have some type of no until they know that you are interested in them. somebody is not sure they're interested in them they're not getting a clear picture you could even if you show the person interest interested they may have not saw it or this could be somebody that showed you that they're interested in but they probably didn't say it. this somebody could have been trying to um show you that they're interested in you but not being direct and since you didn't notice it this person could not be communicating with you because you didn't notice it um let me get some more messages but we got the two pinnacles in reverse we got the hermit card in the upright. Yeah. For some of this is somebody where um this is somebody where they're yeah, but some of y'all this is somebody that's unclear. They're not this is this is somebody that's choosing to keep their distance. They're choosing not to communicate with you because they're unclear on how you feel about them. This could be somebody where they tried to show you that they like you, but you didn't get it or whatever. You like you didn't see that they was trying to show you that they were interested. It could have been unclear to you, and you could have just been focusing on some of y'all. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing like you focusing on something that's almost like um because I'm seeing um the lettering on the hermit cards like the lettering is up to his face, but he's looking on the ground. It's almost like you was missing the signs almost like it was right in front of your face that somebody was interested in you that they liked you but you may not seen it they may not made it clear enough and this somebody that's not communicating with you or giving you something not even letting you know that they're interested in you because they may feel like you're not interested in them um it could be vice versa where you may not share somebody interested in you or not um some of y'all if this is a mutual thing y'all both are interested in each other y'all both don't know whether the other person like the other person or not y'all both are like do they like me do they not like me is it this or is it that her bobblehead ass. Ooh, I can't stand my damn neighbor. I just can't stand a bobblehead nosy ass hoe. <laughs> okay, Lord, let me stop. Let me, let me, let me stop. Okay, anyways, we got the Queen of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords here. Okay, yeah. So some of y'all, this is my where you um somebody could have cut the oh say I'm not even gonna cut you off. It's like somebody cut the idea. Somebody's trapped 
because they can't see past i don't know whoever this fourth person is this person is overthinking with the queen of swords this could be somebody that's stuck because they're overthinking with the ten of wands this is somebody that's stuck and they're overthinking this one that can't move forward because they're constantly overthinking and they're stuck they're not sure if you like them they could have shown you that they liked at you and you didn't you missed the damn size you ain't see it you know they should have been oink oink or when this motherfucker they should i'm almost like the um you know what i'm getting, I'm getting like that peppa pig episode where she called old girl because she couldn't whistle and found the old girl can whistle so she hung up the damn phone that's what i'm getting like child child but whoever this first person is though pal to what i can say is this is something i'm gonna get pull y'all one more card to you know give y'all like an indefinite answer but whoever this fourth person is they it's a mutual thing some of y'all you may like somebody you may not be sure if this if you know that this is for you but this person could have tried to show that they're interested in you you may not see you may not know i got the sign so now this person is stuck from the tracks um not want to come forward not want to show themselves or not showing that they like you because they don't want to look stupid for one and then for two they're not sure if you're interested in them so yeah we got the six of pentacles um we have the king of swords here so this is somebody that wanted to give to you but they're no longer giving to you or this could be somebody that's being logical like should i give to this person or should i not give to them this person wants to know whether they should give to you or not give to you because they're like should i give to this or should i not they're trying to be logical should i present this should i show them that i like them yeah we got the charity card in reverse this person does not know what they want to do one minute they want to be logical and they just want to say no nah, fuck that shit because they didn't even I, I almost like man fuck that shit because they didn't even see that i was interested in the first time then they, when they one minute they're like should i get to the situation it's almost like this person want to give to you but they're being too logical this person doesn't know what to do because they're being logical this person needs to use their heart space this person needs to just come in and be emotional or it's okay to be in your emotions being in your emotions shows power um this person should just come in and be like hey pal so i'm interested in you and just express this person this person don't want to express that they like you or they're interested in you they want to throw those little signs or hints instead of being straightforward like a big dog a big snoop double o g in this bitch you feel me okay fine so if some of y'all feel me pal too like this motherfucker don't want to put them, them uh, this is a woman or a man i want to put them damn pants on and them draw they don't want to step up to the plate and be like hey i like you they're afraid of, this person will be afraid of getting rejected um this person could even send you mixed signals because they're afraid of um if this person showed you one minute that they some of y'all you did notice that this person showed you signs that they liked at you and they stopped it's because the person um don't want you to catch on to them that they like you they don't want you to notice um we got the world card in reverse. After all it is, this person felt like they wasn't successful. So somebody did something and they know they wasn't successful. They didn't get the results that they wanted. And since they didn't get the results they wanted, they're not coming um towards you. But this motherfucker ain't got to realize they got to see it with the five of cups. So this motherfucker just going to sit there sad. Um, wish they would have did this and that. This person sitting there sad, and then they could go from uh, from being sad to man. I could have did this. I could have. I could have been talking to this person by now, dating this person. We go on dates by now. Y'all could have been further if this person would have just stopped playing. Um, though this is what I'm seeing here, y'all. We got the Ace of Pentacles offering you something long term. See what I'm saying? God damn, this person's sad because they low key want to offer you something, and they low key hurting themselves because they want to just say that they like you. They sent you a mixed signal, you ain't see it, and now they sitting over here sitting and sad la la land instead of just saying that they're interested but this is what i'm seeing y'all on um, peace love and light beautiful bigger and bolder to next time some of y'all just be somebody at your workplace you don't have to be but we do got the hiring for car being here that can even talk about like somebody in a higher position to you a preacher uh, a spiritual advisor uh somebody where they could even be looked at as having a lot of responsibilities on them so but anyways peace love and light beautiful bigger and bolder this is your reading basis to next time Mwah. if you're crying by my personal readers or patreon that's in the description box